Hi, this is Yeju. We are going to shoot some uh, sunset tonight, actually in the evening. I'm looking for some nice subjects like old castles and ruins, and uh, this is one of them. This is uh, Sansetur, uh Black Tower. There is a few more, and most probably I will shoot the actual sunset uh, by the Castle Liechtenstein, which is about 3-4 kilometers from here. It should be nicely illuminated by setting sun. I will try to get a shot now. I mean, the, the, the light is horrible. It's actually what? It's after 2. So I had a look with the 2470, but uh, I had a huge distortion, so I thought I will put on the, the tilt shift and uh, we'll see how it comes out. We hear the wind. Fantastic day. I have it focused. What I will do, I will shift it upward. Then I will have the whole tower in frame. I have to compensate at least by one stop. I will do another one. So now I'm compensating two stops. And now the histogram is perfect. This is here we are by Rauchkogel. And uh, just behind me, you can see Liechtenstein Palace. I, I, I've been here one or two years ago, and uh, I was looking at the pictures recently, and I really didn't like him. So I thought I have to come back here again, at the same time looking at other places. This was a good opportunity after like two or three weeks of constant, not really rain, but the clouds, the, the grey colours, and uh, you, you didn't really have any feeling to do any sort of decent shooting. I was hoping for some more clouds to come. Uh, they don't, it doesn't really look like they are going to come. Well, we will do what we have to do. Uh, I like the place. It's nice lit by, uh, by the sun. The sun is actually getting quite slow. It's three o'clock. In about two hours there will be a sunset. I did calculate the exposure before I shifted the, the lens upwards. It's about halfway up from all the range of the shift where I can go and uh, the camera is exactly parallel to the, to the ruins so I don't have this barrel, not barrel distortion, I don't have this collapsing effect where the building or the subject is actually falling like backwards or looks like a pyramid. I am on the ISO 100 f8 and 160th of a second and uh, I'm not using any filters by the way. What I like to do is always double check or triple check with the uh, live view if I have everything in focus so doing a full magnification and then do a final tweak or sync now everything looks fine so we don't need the live view anymore <laughs> just to make sure we have those two stones at the bottom left corner we have two if you see those those two pass, footpaths going upwards, sort of like going around the ruins, and now I have a nice composition. We are good, we are good. The line, the ending line of the ruins is exactly on a third, so if you have like a rule of thirds, so it's on a, on a, on a left line, so it should look nicely, and this is the highest point, point of the composition. So let's give it a shot. I will do another one with 125th of a second. In a minute we are going now to Liechtenstein Castle, which is exactly on the other side. Here we are by Liechtenstein Palace, fantastic location and uh, the snow is gone, sun is setting, the tilt shift lens, I should get a really nice not distorted picture, could be nice colours, nice and warm, I will show you in a minute and uh, just have a look around, I mean this is absolutely magnificent view and uh, so let's get shooting. Of course, if I have a cap on, I will not see anything. 
composition, so I am in the manual mode. Let's get the exposure first. The camera tells me at f8, 100 ISO, I have 30th of a second. It is quite good, but this is actually pointing to the shadow at the moment. So now when I shift it up, most probably I will be slightly overexposed. What I have to do, I have to also shift it a bit to the right. Fantastic. And because of my eyes, I cannot really see uh, exactly through the viewfinder. Let me magnify it. And now I can get a crystal sharp picture. Let's do a test shot. And I like those two, those two or three trees which are next to the castle. They really add something to the composition. I like the rocks. And then I think we're good now. The light is changing. So now I slow it down back to 60th of a second. This is good. I hope you can see it on a, on a screen. Let's check the histogram. Histogram looks perfect. Let's make a shot. And we are good. Not much time. Let me put the polarizer on. I don't want to have too much vignetting because I'm quite... I quite heavily shifted the lens up. So if I put the leaf hinters holder, I might end up with heavy vignettes at the edge. So I'm using thin filter from uh, from BMW. Polarizer on, which takes about one and a half stop. So I have to compensate for this. And uh, this is good, it's perfect. However, now every minute the light will be changing, so I will have to compensate. It's already darker, so I, I have to constantly keep changing. Now it will be tenth of a second. It's too much. Well, let's wait a few minutes and uh, it should be fine. Maybe I would try with the filter actually, because the foreground here, the rocks are way darker than, uh, than the castle and the, and the sky. Uh, let's take it off and the polarizer and uh, let's give it a go with the with the neutral, with the with the grads. I think two stops should be fine. Two stops, soft and D. So let's first put the the ring. The colors are getting nice. Uh, let's get the holder on. And uh, the filters. Let's start with the polarizer. I mean, we don't need the neutral density because there's no movement, but the polarizer might add some colors. Let's check. Oh yeah, nice and blue. Nice and blue and warm. So let's put it as a first filter. Ah, uh, okay, as I said, I shifted everything while putting the holder on, so I have to correct and lock the camera again. But See the sun behind me is getting really nice and warm. Uh, fantastic. Uh, let's start with the two stops. I think two stops should be fine. There you go, six, zero, six, soft. So let's put it on. Actually, actually, I have to clean it, which is also a good idea to clean it at home. So, let's mount it. Fantastic. Now with the depth of field preview, you can see way better what the, how the filter affects the frame. Let's do a test shot. Oh, nice sun. This will be a nice picture. Yes. 
and the histogram is spot on. So everything manual, six of a second, F8, ISO 100, and uh, white balance set to 7,500 kelvins. What I'm thinking is actually of moving forward about two, three meters to have a tighter shot. So let's move on for a move slightly forward. I leveled the camera already. Let's double check if it's sharp. It is absolutely crystal sharp. And now uh, let's take a picture. The light changed already, so now I'm uh, one fourth of a second. And now uh, let's give it a go. Yes, this is it. Now what I'm thinking is actually putting some... Uh, I don't have a warming filter, but I have uh, one sepia filter. From, uh, from Lee, which is actually a grad filter. However, because of this Lee, they are quite big, so you could still try to put it in such a way that it will cover the whole frame without any gradation. It, it's just a, really a test to really to warm up the picture even more. As you see on the, on the display immediately, Everything went darker because it takes some light. Let's position it so it takes about two stops. Look at the color difference. However, I like it. And now it takes way longer, so we are already at over a second of exposure. However, I don't like here this polarization, so I might have to remove the, the polarizer. So polarizer is removed. What a difference. So we are at half sec half of a second. And now uh, we we're perfect. Actually I like it, this sepia color. It's really nice. I have to see it on a big screen and then I will decide which one stays, which one goes. The light is gone. It's, wow. Actually, the sunset is happening, is occurring now. But you can see it's already grey and dull. So I think I'll get packing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was, I was showing bits and pieces. I don't think I got really beautiful shots, maybe two or three. But my main purpose today was really to have a look at the location. So, I think this is it. Let's, let's get packing. I'm not 100% happy with the results, but let's see what comes out on the, on the big screen. Uh, the colors were relatively good. Unfortunately, there were no clouds. Uh, no really blue hour today. It just simply the sun went down and that was it. When you're around Vienna, this is really literally 10, 20 minutes outside of Vienna and uh, Liechtenstein Castle is easily accessible um, you can walk around so thank you very much for watching this is uh, Jesu Bin uh, and I hope you enjoyed it see you next time